Meet Bob, a budding musician. Bob's generally a good person. However, he's a thief. What's worse is he doesn't even know it. You see, Bob steals photos. Digital photos. How could Bob do such a thing? Well, to give Bob some credit, he doesn't even know he's a thief. Wait, what? So what is Bob doing? See, Bob habitually just goes to Google, finds an image he likes, copies it, and then adds it to his band promotion flyers. He does this for his projects at school, too. Wait a minute. I do that. Does that mean I'm a thief, too? Yes. But luckily, if you're watching this video, now you can take action and do things differently. But first, let's understand why this thievery is so bad. Meet Carla. She's in Bob's music class. You see, Carla's mom is a photographer. Carla's mom makes money that feeds her family by taking awesome photos and selling them. When she sells her photos, she provides for her family. In other words, Carla has a house to live in, food to eat, and more. When people use Carla's mom's photos without crediting her work, also known as her intellectual property, nobody knows it's her photos and she doesn't get paid. Well, you can probably guess how this will work out for Carla. So, how can Bob help people like Carla's mom and at the same time stop this thievery of grand proportion? It's easy, really. There's a lot of great resources out there, like Pexels.com. These websites or apps provide photos explicitly made for this type of sharing. What makes Pexels great is that it pulls from other picture sharing sites like Pixabay, too. And the bonus? Many of the photos say, no attribution required, which means you don't have to credit the author, but it's still nice to. There's plenty of other resources out there which vary in complexity, but for the sake of simplicity of this video's message, Pexels is a good place to start. In sum, don't be a photo thief. Respect the work of others by knowing where to get photos properly and giving credit to the creative works of others.